All right, so here's the new thing. This is the new Core 4 Motorsports Big Brake Kit. It's kind of incredible how nice this is. So I had a nice brake kit. I had a set of R33 brakes. They've been good. Um, they're actually a pretty big kit compared to like a Z32 setup, so it's a nice kit. Uh, but what I want to do with the car, I think this is going to be a better way to go. And uh, really looking forward to getting these set up. This is the real deal. These are real racing brakes. I think there's like, I don't know, thousands and thousands of laps of R&D into these. The guys at Core 4 are absolutely awesome. Time has been super helpful. Helped me get my car dialed in for this season. And if these don't stop it, I don't know what will. All right, so there's a comparison. So it's hard to tell, but uh, so this is the Core 4 332 millimeter set, six pistons. This is the R33 kit with uh, 12 inch rotors. So those rotors are about an inch bigger in diameter, but they're like two and a half inches bigger, I think, than a Z32 kit. I've actually never owned Z32 brakes. Um, I've always just had the R33s, so. Um, but it's a huge difference. Like this kit's awesome. Like if nothing else too, you can just see the thickness and you can uh, and you can imagine how much better this is gonna handle temperatures. And not only that, but it being the aluminum hat and the difference in weight, I'm not gonna weigh them. There's other videos you guys can go watch of people weighing them. There's smarter people that do better production than this. Uh, I'm just super excited about this kit and then the, the uh, kind of feedback that you get from working with the company. So I just wanted to put this video up make people more aware of this kit um, because this is absolutely awesome. Uh, the difference I'm going to notice on the track should be huge. Um, I don't think with this kit I'm going to need to even run brake ducting, uh, which is big because I didn't, I really didn't want to do that. And so these are all big enough and smart enough and cool enough that uh, I don't think I'll even need to run ducting. So I got it all torn apart. Um, I'm not going to do an install video. You guys should know how to put brakes on. And like I said, if you don't, there's other videos that are better uh, with smarter people than me. I'm a terrible mechanic, but I'll post it up. I'll, I'll, I'll see how this goes when we finish up and uh, go from there. All right, well, here they are. I have no idea how the last video went because it's been some time since I worked on it, uh, but new lines. I did have to get new clips. I was, I was missing a few of those. And as somebody pointed out on the uh, forum, you should just use zip ties. Uh, Bro, did you see the uh, brake kit that I'm putting on my car? This is not a uh, use zip ties to finish up the brake kit kind of thing. So, yeah, I mean, I, I can't, I couldn't be happier, honestly, guys. Uh, working with Tom and the guys at Core 4, um, this is a sweet brake kit. It's a sweet brake kit. Um, the guys are fantastic. Uh, they worked with me to, you know, help me get this fit. I ran into a small issue um, that didn't end up being too much of a problem, but. Uh, Put me back, you know, put me back a little bit to get it installed, but here we are. Um, I cannot wait to see how this performs. I'm running Hawk pads, actually track pads and um, normal pads. Our track pads and street pads, but this is the HPS 5.0 is in here. Um, and here, I guess we can go take a look at the other side. It's gonna look the exact same though. So yeah, so you can see, okay, let me put this. I'll just do this one hand and see if I can do it. Mm. Eh, you probably can't see that bracket. I'm gonna flip it over another one, I guess, and go look at the from this side. <sighs> so there's the bracket. Look at how much meat is in those pads. Should be good guys, I'm excited about it. Go buy some Core 4 Motorsports, good stuff.